welcome back to lesson 3 of python programming series so in this lesson i'm going to talk about the different types of data that we can assign to our variables the first one is about the string data types and then uh, second one is about uh, integer and uh, third one is about a float that means a floating numbers so let me first give an example of a string so a string is like a series of characters that are enclosed inside a quotation mark so let me create one variable so name and then here let me assign a value to a variable name that is dawa and then this one is a string because you see that this one is a series of characters and it was enclosed inside a quotation mark so this one is basically a string that is assigned to a variable name so if i want to print this then you just need to do print and then pass your name here and if i run this program you should see my name here dawa so the next thing is let me talk about the integer integer is a number and it can be either negative or positive so for example let me create one variable age and then let me assign a number here that means my age is 56 so this one is an integer value that is assigned to a variable age so whenever we are assigning an integer to a variable it should not be enclosed inside a quotation mark otherwise 56 uh, inside a quotation mark then it can be read as a string so we should not or en enclose our integer value inside a quotation mark so if i print this you should see an output 56 you see dawa this one is a string and 56 is a integer so now the last uh, simple data type that i'm going to teach is about the float that is a floating number so for example let me talk about uh, my height so i'm creating a variable height and assigning some value here 45.6 that means any decimal value that is not enclosed inside a quotation mark is a float so in this case the variable height is storing a value float that is 45.6 if i want to print this then you just need to type print and then pass here height so if i run this program you should see 45.6 also printed so in python programming uh, you can also check the type the data that is assigned to a variable so let me check for this so for that you can print and then you have to use a type keyword and you have to pass your variable name once you have passed a variable name inside a type keyword then you should see a type of a value or a type of a data this particular variable is holding so let me run this code and let me check so now you see that dawa is actually a string that means this is how you check a type of a data inside a variable so let me also do the same thing for this age variable and then let me check for the type of the data that age is holding so for that you have to type each inside the type keyword and then run a program and you see that this 56 is a integer so now let me also do the same thing for this uh, floating number so type and then you need to pass height here and then if i run this program you see that 45.6 is a float that means there are three simple data types that we can assign to a variable so first one is a string str and then the second one is an int that, that is integer and the third one is a float that is a floating number you see that dawa is a string and then 56 is an integer and 45.6 is a float so now let me enclose the 56 uh, inside a quotation mark and then if i run this program now you see that this 56 is no more an integer it is a string this is because you see that this 56 is enclosed inside a quotation mark now any number that is enclosed inside a quotation mark will be read as a string so similarly we can do we can even check with this float number let me enclose this and then let me run this program now you see that this 46.5 also taken in as a string now whenever you are assigning a float or an integer you should not use a quotation mark or it should not be enclosed inside a quotation mark there are some other operations that we can also do so for example if i want to like increase my age so you can also do in this way like actually the age variable holds 56 and if i do some age plus 4 then i should get an output 60 like we can also include some operations like maybe something like this and you can also run you see that now it is a 224 
you can do similar thing maybe some value x is equal to 10 and i'm assigning an integer value to a variable x and you can also do something like this now each into x that means we are multiplying 56 into 10 so i think we should get 560 560 so this type of simple operation we can do regarding to string we can only do two arithmetic operation that is addition and uh, multiplication usually when we are using a plus sign in a string call this as a concatenation so for example let me declare one variable here greeting and i want to greet the okay okay hello now i want to concatenate this string that means i want to add these two value so for that uh, you can call something like this you can call a greeting here and then use a plus sign now you see you get an output hello dawa concatenation is joining a two string together if you want to repeat uh, maybe like let me repeat name for around five times you can also use multiplication sign and multiply these name with five times that means you should see a dawa for five times because this name is storing a value dawa so if i run this program you see that dawa dawa has been printed for five times but uh, we can't do something like this now this greeting holds a string string value so if i run this program i think you should get an error you see that uh, we can't multiply sequence by non-integer that means of course we can use these uh, multiplication for with with a number but we can't do with a string you see that we can't multiply hello and dawa together that's why we are getting an error but whenever you are using a multiplication with a string always make sure that you use a number and uh, you can do the same thing with integer so let me talk more on this integer like you can do even like a division and let me run this code now i should get some output you see that 5.6 and uh, yeah these are the some simple arithmetic operation that you can do with uh, integer data types and then with regards to float it's all same what if i keep it something like this 45 point and if i run this program you always see that 45 point actually what we have did was uh, for the height i kept it 45 point and then you see that python interpreter automatically embed 0 at the end and it will, will detect this as a floating number you can do the same thing with you can also add you see that there is no error and uh, you can also do some multiplication here you see that 183 we get a perfect output so these are the three simple data types that we can assign to a variables okay now let me also talk about uh, how to assign multiple values to a variables so for example i'm creating a three variables here maybe a three subject okay english songka and mathematics and i want to assign some value here so maybe i got in english 45 and then in zonka 50 and mathematics 90. so whenever you want to create a multiple variables you can always do in this way english like this one english is a variable zonka is a variable math is a variable and we are assigning a value to each of this variable so if i want to print what is there inside uh, english then i should get 45 you see that i get in 45 so if i want to print what's there inside uh, okay maybe let me do the same thing if i want to print what's there inside a song call and if i run this program you get an output you see that song call is assigned 50 and then same thing you can do with uh, you can even check with what's there inside a mathematics so if i run this program you see that you get an output 90 so this is how you assign a value to a multiple variables for example let's say now one student has scored only like 50 in all the three subjects so you can also do in this way let, let me say that uh, particular students has scored 50 in english songka 50 and mathematics 50 so in such cases you can assign a single value to a multiple variable so for that you just need to put equal to sign here then equal to sign here so if i print this then you see that when i'm printing english he gets 50 when i'm printing zonka he gets 50 when i'm printing maths he gets 50. actually this is how uh, we assign a single value to a multiple variables so that's all in this video and i will see you in the next video lesson